try it again. Mm. But uh, we also have another phone. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's successful. Okay. So, uh, different apps that meets different agricultural requirements. Interface. Make the app in such a way that it becomes very cracks. You no, know, uh, whatever it is. So now, if you have a craft, so you have um, a picture. Big ICT for agricultural food. We have financial institutions, we have policy makers. And I'm really looking forward to uh, having a good discussion with you. <clears throat> Those kind of choices, that is the choice that is interesting. There we can influence. Uh... Okay. My name is Alexander Valaton, and I'm the founder of Yielder. And Yielder is a digital information platform here in Kenya where farmers are connected to knowledge and the people who have the knowledge can communicate with farmers and the farmers can communicate with the knowledge. I am convinced that farming here in Kenya can improve a lot. And the important thing about better farming is that farmers get more money. So they can invest in farming, they can, come be, become, can become better farmers. If farmers have a choice on what to do, so it's a financial choice, it's an information choice, it's a market choice, then eventually we as consumers will eat better. And I want to eat better. I want to eat healthier and I want to know what I'm eating. ICT is often considered as a goal, but it's not a goal, it's a tool. It's a tool to create access to information, to create access to market and to create access to a much more sustainable environment in the agriculture sector. The young generation is digital savvy. They know how to operate a digital uh, um, smartphone, they know how to operate a computer, they know how to get the knowledge that is essential for better farming. We sh cannot leave it to the old generation. We cannot leave it to the old generation. The old generation is not about to change. The old generation likes stability, they want to continue with the things that they are doing. We need to change. We need a better output. We need more productivity. We need to reduce the post-harvest losses. We need digital information. We need super sensitive young people to reorganize this. And without this, we're going to be lost. Currently, at this moment, all the information is available to farm better. That information needs to be opened up for farmers so they can absorb it, use it, put it into practice and actually produce better food for us. Information management, digital information management is not a standard ingredient in the curriculum of agriculture students in Kenya. 
how can you learn to get that information? How can you learn to discriminate between good information and bad information if you have not been trained? Do you think Facebook is going to teach you? Do you think Google is going to teach you? You actually need a training to be able to learn what is right, what is wrong, how to use that in the best way. You cannot assume that people, farmers, consumers, or anyone in the value chain just knows that. That is what a university is for, to teach people how to absorb knowledge, also digital knowledge. Eventually, we have to go to more sustainable farming. It cannot be that within a value chain, a farmer doesn't know what the market price is, that a processor doesn't want to share how much he is making, and that in the end, the farmer is the one who is not making enough money to invest in better farming. The farmer cannot be the one who's at the end of that value chain. He should be at the beginning of the value chain. He is the one who's investing. He is the one who's taking a big risk. If it's going to, not going to rain, he's going to suffer. If it's going to rain too much, he's going to suffer. If there's no good seeds, he's going to suffer. The whole value chain is not suffering. The one who's suffering most, if anything goes wrong, where all the risks are, is the farmer underground. That farmer needs to be empowered to be better. My name is Dr. Rafael M. Gasheya from Egerton University and the co-principal investigator of SCARA project. For this event, we sought to bring together actors in the agricultural sector. We have students, we have farmers, we have got policy makers and decision makers, NGOs and CBOs who are interested in ICT in agriculture. But now we are bringing in secondary school students who should benefit from the discussions that are ongoing here because moving forward, they should be the people who are taking the role of agriculture ahead. Well, I believe this meeting is premised on the philosophy that each one of us has got something to learn and each one of us has got something to teach. And that is why, for instance, we have got the farmers. They are with us here in this sitting, and they can have their input. And rightly said, you have said that all these policies have been made in the boardroom and in conferences and so on. Eh? But rarely do we find farmers and the end users coming to have an input, having a say on what should be incorporated in those policies, whereas we are making these policies for them. That is why we have to have the farmers here, all these participants, the farmers, the policy makers, the apps developers, in given groups where each one of them can have a say and contribute to what he or she would wish to see in ICT for agriculture. Okay. So my name is Daisy Lanoi. I'm a master's student from Ejaton University, mastering in food science and technology and also food chemistry. I'm a beneficiary of the SCARA project because it partly funded my research work. That SCARA project has been of great importance, especially to the youth, as it cuts across it, cut, it cuts across every, every people in the aid set. The youths are not left behind, even the older people. And so I think it's a good way of ensuring that knowledge is being passed on from the older generation to the younger generation, which is more which at this point in time is vibrant and it has access to lots of information and by so doing it helps in ensuring that agriculture sector is improved. So SCARA helps in ensuring that uh, it welcomes most of the youths in their projects and in their programs like this one that is happening most of the youths are being invited and they are being taught on how to start farms and how to link up with other farmers who are well I can say who are advanced in the farming system and in this sense it brings a sense of uh, responsibility and also a sense of um, uh, diversity and ensuring that the agriculture doesn't become extinct. And as far as it is an ongoing thing, it's also beneficial. It creates an impact to the young people and the society at large. Uh, my name is Anton Njorogi. I'm a farmer, small scale farmer. Mimi hufuga kuku, mimi hulima mahindi na beans, cereals. Eh, 
I'm very happy kwa kuwa kwa mkutano wa leo. Ninajivunia sana kwa kurima sababu e, tukikuja na maneno ya ICT e, uwa inanisaidia sana kuna moja ambayo inaitwa crop mo, crop monitoring ambao huwa tunatumiwa na CGA Serial Growers Association ambayo imetusaidia upande wa mvua huwa tunatumia hizo SMS tunaambua maybe in a predict two days before or after kutakuwa mvua so amaibu kupanga nijue siku gani natakiwa nipande siku gani natakiwa nivune issues kama hizo kuna ingine hii ya karo ambao ni hapa hapa ambao inatumia tunasaidiana nao huwa wanatuma every kama kuna magonjwa ya mimea ama ya kuku huwa wanatuma hizo SMS ambazo mimi kama mkulima pia ni chairman wa vikundi kama KSEP Jokerio Kenya Serious Enhancement Program mimi ndio chief person huwa tukimit huwa nina eremisha wakulima wenzangu unaweza tafuta financial institution upate loan kidogo hata kama sio loan kubwa ambao unaweza risk shamba pale pengine na ndio upate kujisaidia kwa vijana waendelee tu kuiga wasikufe moyo you don't lose hope endelea tu kujipanga ukipata pesa kidogo unaweka na hata hiyo shamba kidogo mtu, Mungu ambaye amekubariki ama mzazi amekupea unaweza rima vegetables then you can value add value addition ambapo kuliko kuuza tu hizo unaweza kufungua grocery grocery kidogo